YouTube, what's going on? Jody, opinionated window cleaner coming at you this morning. It's about 6.36 in the morning. It's still dark outside, but we love it that way. Been going for about an hour and a half, getting some work uh, done, and got my crews off to do the job, and I want to talk about that. I want you all to do me a favor. I want you to go in today, when your employees get back from wherever they're at or out on the jobs they're doing, I want you to fire them all. That's right. Fire every employee you have. You don't need employees. Some of y'all saying, do what, Joey? Why would I fire all my employees? I don't Just fire them. And then what I want you to do is rehire them, people. But this time, hire a team. I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to see a difference. Let me explain the difference between employees and a team. Employees get told what to do. That's point blank. You tell them what to do, they go do it. If you don't tell them to do it, it don't get done. A team gives input on how to get it done. That's right. Employees do the job and the job only. That's what they're there for, just to do that job. You're paying them an hourly rate, commission, however you pay them, and they're only going to do that job. A team helps problem solve. So let's say another job comes up, it's got to get done, and the team will help you with that. Employees are a lot of stress. Now let's be honest. Most of our biggest issues when we're running a business is not the customers, it's not the sales, it's not the marketing. That's all issues. The, those of us that have employees, the biggest issue is stress from the employee. Are they going to show up for work? Are they going to do this? Are they going to do that? A team is not a bunch of stress. It relieves the stress. Trust me on this. Employees just want a paycheck. Team don't want just a paycheck. Of course, they need a paycheck to get by and live on. A team wants to grow with the business and see the business grow because they're part of that team. So, you know, I say fire all your employees and hire a team. Now, in order to do this, you have to change your thinking a little bit to turn around and take and make this work. You can't just go out and say, Okay, you guys are no longer employees. You're my team. Who are all and expected to happen? No, you got to change your thinking a little bit to make them into a team because it's up to you to convince them they are a team and not employees. You need to include your team members in choices. Things like who you hire. So you need another person on your trucks and uh, you're going to hire somebody and you interview about three people and you got two good possibilities. Pull your team in and tell them, look, this is the possibilities I got and show them the application and talk to them about it and see if they're on board with that person. Maybe they're spot something you don't. Maybe they know something about that person you don't, that you're hired. Uh, they're appreciated. Include them in who you fire. Yeah, this is a big one. Let's say you, gotta, you feel like it's time to fire somebody you're having a problem with. Them. Go to your team and say, look, this is the problem I'm having. Bring the team in bo on board on that. See what their opinion is. Now, by all means, if somebody steals from you or something like that, they're fired on the spot. And you know that. But still go to your team and explain to them why you're firing that person. Get rid of the gossip and the grapevine. Include your team in equipment purchases. Your team's smart. They're out there using the equipment all day long. A lot of times you're the one in the office, you're buying the equipment, they're using it. Include them in the equipment purchases. This is going to do a couple things. A, they know what they need to get the job done. B, they're going to be seeing the prices, seeing the thoughts you put into buying this piece of equipment, and they're going to turn around and take and help take care of it a little bit better because they're part of the process of getting it. Another big thing, ask, don't tell. Now, you're still the boss, man. We all know that. You know that. I know that. You own the company. But you ain't got to tell your guys what to do. Ask them. You'd be surprised how much farther and how much more you will get out of your team if you just ask instead of telling all the time. This is an important one. Get out of the big chair. Now, when I say that, I'm referring to the chair behind your desk. It's normally the biggest one in the office because it's your chair, you're the owner. I get it. I got the same thing going on. But get out of that chair. There's nothing wrong in the morning your guys come in and you get up and ask them, hey, 
can I fix you a cup of coffee? Or the guys get back at the end of the day and the truck's got to be unloaded or something like that. You get out of the chair and go out there and help them unload. You don't have to do this every day. But let them see that you don't consider yourself no better than they are. I'm telling you guys, it'll make the difference. Uh, if they're out there having a problem with the job, don't sit there and be an ass on the phone. Well, you should have this done by now. You should have this done by now. Get in your truck and go help them. Don't go out there to cause problems. Go out and help them out. Maybe they're having a problem figuring something out. Maybe it's something you know how to do. Become one-on-one -on -one with them. Let your crew or team know both the good and bad. A lot of boss men turn around and take, and they don't want to tell their team anything. I let my team know when we're doing good. I let them know when we're doing bad. I want them to know. I want them to be a part of the process because if I'm running a little bit low and the bank account's starting to get low, I'll go to my team. Look, guys, we could really use an extra job day. If y'all find something out there uh, we can pick up, I'd really appreciate it. Or if we're having a good week, I'm constantly telling them, hey, we're having a good week. Now, some of you guys, before you own businesses, worked for other people like I did. And for years, I always heard the same thing out of every boss man I worked for. Oh, I'm broke. I ain't got no money. It, you know, money's tight. And that's fine. But if all these boss men are broke that bad, they're in the wrong businesses. I don't go around and try to claim that I'm broke all the time to make my employees fail bad for me. If we're having a good week, I'm going to let them know we're having a good week because their paychecks are going to see it as well as mine. If we're having a bad week and things are tight, I'm going to tell them that too. So, like I said, Fire all your employees and hire a team. I guarantee you will see a difference in the way your company begins to grow. I just guarantee it. All right. Well, it's a joke. I'm out of here. Have a great day.